Hello, and welcome on our STM32 Cube IDE Basics training session. In this part, we will focus on power consumption calculator. This is a part of STM32 Cube IDE application, which allows us to estimate the power consumption of our application. To demonstrate this uh, application, I would create a new project with an existing workspace. So I'll go to File, New, STM32 Project. So again, I'm going uh, through STM32 Target Selector. We can do, of course, uh, some estimation of uh, current consumption for existing project, but uh, in this case I would like to demonstrate something, uh, some particular settings. Okay, so we select uh, exactly the same microcontroller, G071RB. Yes, and uh, RQFP version, I just press next. Uh, I would name it uh, G0PCC. All the settings are the same, default ones. Yes, CubeMX or device configuration perspective could be opened. Okay, so we've got empty project. Again, I would uh, select serial wire as a debug interface. Um, in our application, I would select as well RTC. Activate clock source uh, with wake up. Activate calendar with a wake up capability because I would like to demonstrate to you this power consumption calculator in connection with low power modes. So let's assume that we will use RTC uh, with internal wake up. We will use as well PC13 in the configuration of um, system wake up 2 as well. And uh, additionally, we will select ADC1 with some channels measurements. So let's select two channels and uh, from communication peripherals let's select uh, low power tur one in asynchronous mode 9600 bits per second 7 let's do 8 bits including parity without parity one stop bit the rest remains the same for the clock configuration, I would keep the default settings. I would not focus on much on the on the configuration. And uh, I switching to power consumption calculator for this particular application. My idea is to demonstrate to you the some typical application, low power application, uh, which should perform some analog measurements from time to time, receive uh, transmit some data over the UART and uh, wake up periodically using uh, RTC auto wake up functionality or a dedicated pin uh, connected to PC13. Before we go further, let's uh, save our application, Control S. Yes, it will generate a code. And now let's switch to tools and power consumption uh, calculator. We can start with uh, VDD selection. Uh, it can be 1.8 uh, to 0 0.4303.6 uh, volts. Uh, let's select uh, 3 volts. Temperature cannot cannot be changed. And now we can select the battery, which we'll use uh, to work with this uh, with our application. So when I press select, a new window pop up. When I can either add my own battery, which can be specified by me or I can select uh, already existing and defined batteries. I would select uh, classical AA1. It's 1.5 volts. This is why I need two of those. I could put here two in series. I can increase as well uh, the capacity in milli. I can put some of those in parallel as well. This application allows me to 
estimate how much time I can work with my application using specified set of batteries. Next point is the definition of the steps, so how the application will work. To do this, uh, I select a new step. As a result, this kind of window is popping up. I select um, the power mode, so either run or any of low power modes. So usually at the beginning we are in a run mode to configure the, all the peripherals. And now I can enable all the peripherals which has been enabled by me uh, within the pinout and configuration phase. I would select this. So as you can see, uh, we've got uh, IDC, GPIO-A, GPIO-C, uh, low power UART and RTC. Having this, uh, uh, we can continue. So power range. Uh, with an STM32G0, we've got two power ranges, medium and high. More information about uh, the power range available in G0 family, you can find on dedicated online training. I would select the range to medium, which allows me to limit the current consumption. So as we enabled all the peripherals, which has been selected by us in the previous step, we can continue our evaluation. So power range will set to medium to lower the total current consumption of the system. Memory fetch type, uh, we will use flash, standard one. Uh, the VDD is already programmed, the uh, voltage source is battery, CPU frequency, we will use uh, 2 MHz to lower the, the power consumption. Uh, clock configuration, we will use HSI, because we are using internal clock. And step duration, so how long we will be in this run mode at the beginning, I would set on 10 milliseconds. Uh, we can specify as well some additional current consumption, which can be related to connected peripherals, connected uh, chips uh, to our microcontroller. Uh, so I would keep it uh, like this without any, any additional points. We've got the step, step consumption, more or less uh, 500 uh, microamps. I press add, and I can see on the screen right now the current consumption in time. So right now it is IDD by step, so this step only. We can see right now the current consumption within one step. If we will use only this step, uh, we can count on our battery for 7 months, 22 days and 1 hour. Okay, but uh, we discussed at the beginning that I would like to create a low power application. This is why I would add a new step. And within this new step, I would select the stop mode, stop one. Stop one uh, mode with active uh, RTC only. And uh, I would like to be in this state for one second without any additional current consumption. I'm adding this uh, mode as well. And after this one second, uh, I would like to uh, be in run mode again. But before this, uh, I would like to show to you right now how our consumption profile has changed. Please have a look. Right now, we've got all two steps, run and stop, and we've got the average current consumption curve, which is on the level of 12 microamperes. Okay, so we create the next new step. So this time it would be wake up from stop. We cannot select run mode or sleep mode or other modes because we need to wake up first wake up from a stop mode. Uh, so this is quite auto quite automatic uh, mode. Uh, so I just edit and after wake up from stop, I can add run mode again. So, new step, I'm selecting run, uh, memory flash from memory fetch from flash, and again ADC. Well, I can enable all the peripherals from the pinout, but this time I would like to be in this mode only for one millisecond. Above 2 megahertz, clock configuration HSI. One millisecond, and okay. So we've got uh, four steps. 
Um, we can save the sequence, we can load other sequence, we can compare the sequence with the other ones, we can display the sequence as well. We can have a look uh, how much time uh, we can work on the batteries we selected. So if we keep this scenario like this, uh, we can work with these batteries uh, 13 years, 2 months, 23 days and 7 hours. Average current consumption is uh, 12.7 microamps. We can select uh, the different uh, display of this um, profile. So, for example, we can we can se select uh, IP con consumption. So, in split on ADCs and uh, IGPIO, UART. So, all the peripherals we are using in microamps. Uh, there is a split on digital and analog part, which is important in. Uh, components uh, like ADC or uh, reference voltage uh, used by the ADC. Um, we can select only analog, we can select only digital uh, peripherals, uh, we've got um, split between run and low power modes, so there are various number of um, display of the, of the information. Then we can save it, we can print it uh, for further use. Uh, what is good in this application is that this power consumption calculator allows you to estimate to estimate the current consumption uh, of the application, how it is working, and uh, the, all the data which are used within this application are taken from the data sheet. So in the real application, uh, you can be sure that uh, your data, your realistic data, would be very, very similar. So this is very good help if you would like to start with the new development and just check whether the selected microcontroller is appropriate or not uh, to your uh, application. Thank you for watching this video.